Okay, so right now I'm done packing my stuff. And to be honest guys, I really don't know how would this probably turn out. Pero subukan lang talaga natin, tsaka enjoy lang talaga natin. So guys, eto na. <clears throat> this is Aichan and this is my first ever vlog. I'm here in Oslo now. Papunta ako ngayon na airport. Kasi pauwi ako na Italy today. Um, it's negative 3 now in Oslo. It's officially spring pero as you can see, nagkalat pa rin yung snow tsaka sobrang lamig pa rin dito. I live in the northeast part of Oslo which is just 20 minutes away from the airport. So meron direct line ng bus from our place to Oslo airport. <music> Ciao! What's up guys? So on this part of the video, I will be talking about my experience and some of the observations I had from yesterday when I went to Jollibee, Italy. By the way, before I start, let me just say that this is not a paid advertisement of Jollibee. Wala pa ako sa ganun point, pero first vlog pa lang, malay matin, baka sa susunod, may mga sponsors na tayo. For those of you who doesn't know, Jollibee Corporation has opened their first ever branch in Europe. It is their flagship in Europe, which is located in here in Milano. Today, I will be talking about four points. The location, second is the store itself, and third is the system they have now, and fourth is, of course, the food. So first, dun muna tayo sa location. Jollibee Italy is located at Piazza Dia 7, Milano. So it's in, in Piazza Dia 7, Milano. For me, very strategic yung place. I heard that it took them like some years, like four years for them to, to finally find the perfect location for the store. And I must say na sobrang perfect nung location. Sa center talaga siya. For those of you na hindi taga Milan or hindi familiar sa Milan, ang gagawin nyo lang is pumunta lang kayo ng, ng centro or ng, ng city center ng downtown which is kung saan nyo makikita yung cathedral, yung Milan Cathedral. And from there, it is just some few steps away. It's, it is very strategic for for Jollibee. Sobrang smart ng pagpili nila ng location. For me, it is very important for, for marketing purposes and for, for the business itself to have the perfect location. Sa mga tourists or sa mga nagbabalak kumunta dito or experience yung Jollibee dito sa Milan, madaling madali lang siyang puntahan. Second point is the store itself. Yung Jollibee kasi kilala natin yan sa it's a very friendly atmosphere ng mga store. Sa Philippines, naaalala ko na ang mga Jollibee stores are very colorful, they are very creative, some of them has playground for the kids. So, karamihan talaga ng mga stores sa Philippines, meron yung parang Jollibee vibe na tinatawag. Yung parang, alam, pagpasok ko pa lang, alam mong nasa Jollibee ka. And I must say na dito sa Milano, na-achieve nila yon. The store itself is... Um, it's not as big as what I have expected. Pwede na siya for, for first branch. Pero knowing Filipinos here in Italy, sobrang dudumbugin talaga kapag nalaman nila na may Jollibee. And for me, medyo maliit pa yung store nila ngayon to accommodate all the Filipinos who've been wanting to try Jollibee or, or basta kumain lang ng Jollibee. Medyo weird kasi yung store kasi kapag pumasok ka sa entrance, hindi mo makikita agad yung counter. So once na pumasok ka, ang una mo makikita is yung portion, oops, is yung portion ng mga tables. Yung eating area na agad yung makikita mo. And then, you have to go through this small part na parang walkway area. 
in order for you to get to that part where you get to order. And yung part na yun, medyo maliit lang din. What they did is they put some mirrors. They put some mirrors on the walls so that it would look like big. Medyo smart yung ginawa nila na yun. And yung interiors talaga is, is very nice. It's very Italian. Yung design is very minimal yet creative. Yung ceiling part yung napansin ko kasi um, sobrang irregular niya. Hindi siya yung just like the other stores here na flat lang yung ceilings na may ilaw. Sila they have to, they put up some some details sa ceilings para maging creative. Yung lighting, of course, Jollibee sobrang talagang maliwanag sa loob. Yung Jollibee vibe talaga na sinasabi ko kanina was well achieved. Third point is the system. Depending on the store, kung anong system yung gagamitin nila. Um, I heard nung first day, by the way, nag-open sila nung March 18, 2018, which is five days ago. And it was a Sunday. Dito sa Milano, kapag Sunday talaga, normally walang pasok ang mga Filipinos and they get to spend time with their families. We expect na talaga sobrang dami ng volume ng tao na pupunta. So I heard nung first day was um, medyo hindi pa ganun kaganda yung system. Yesterday when I went there, they came up with this new system. They have this stub, like an entrance stub. It is not a food coupon, of course. Napunta kasi ako doon ng mas maaga, like 4, like 4 p.m. And then I thought makakain na ako. Pero nung, nung pumila ako, yung pala, ang bibigay lang sa akin is a stub. So babalikin din ako. Doon sa certain time na nakasulat dun sa stub. So I went there at 4 p.m. And then yung time nung stop was 7, between 7 to 7.30. So ibig sabihin, kailangan before 7, magpunta na kami doon, magpakita na kami. Kasi 7 o'clock, papapasukin na kami. Pagpasok namin, meron pang another queue. Kailangan pumila ka ulit kasi doon pa lang talaga yung pila papunta sa counter. Doon yung medyo matagal kasi since maliit nga yung space, they have to um, think of a way na hindi magiging traffic sa tao na lumalabas sa mapasok. So may mga may mga crew sila nag-stop doon sa line tapos iaalaw lang nila yung certain volume of people to come in dun sa next part ng store. Yung part na yun medyo um, hindi siya okay for me pero I understand kung bakit nila ginagawa yun kasi nga medyo maliit yung store. Pagdating mo dun sa counter, of course, order ka na ng gusto mo. So once you get to order na, pupunta ka naman dun sa other, uh, another part which is mag-aantay ka na naman thing is in euro serving now 9.55 at 9.58 so na na malapit na I advise na yung mga taong pupunta siguro sa period na ito ay kumain muna bago kayo magpunta sa Jollibee which is very weird actually kaya pupunta doon kasi kakain ka pero since nag start pa lang kasi yung store so they have to consider some of the things na makakatulong sa kanila since sobrang dami nga rin talagang tao after three hours, we got our food and then um, ang in order ko yesterday was Chicken Joy. That makes me go to the fourth point, the food. Yesterday, we had a, uh, a bucket of Chicken Joy. I must say na they have achieved the taste of the real Chicken Joy. Yung original na taste sa Philippines ng Chicken Joy was well achieved here in Milano. Just to let you know, of course, kapag nasa Italy ka kasi, one of the major problems sa mga nagka-franchise abroad is yung raw materials na gagamitin nila. Isa rin yung sa mga curiosity na nag-arise sa akin before, kung ma-achieve ba nila yung chicken joy, knowing na yung mga materials, mga ingredients, magagali lang sa Italy. So, they will be using another in ingredients, hindi yung ginagamit sa Philippines, or maybe in some of the ing ingredients, galing sa Philippines but I don't think it's it would be economical for them to import everything from the Philippines. That's why they have to find you know some ingredients here na sobrang close to what they are using in the Philippines. And I must say na yung Chicken Joy sobrang na-achieve nila and also the gravy. Yung tawag sa ibang items was translated in Italiano. For example, yung gravy here it is called sugo di polo, sauce of the chicken or the chicken sauce so siguro you have to be familiar with the some italian translated words dun sa menu nila so of course but um yung yung mga crew naman nila 
Um, sobrang na-achieve nila yung Jollibee vibe na sinasabi ko kasi everyone speaks Tagalog. Especially mga nasa counters, they are fluent in Tagalog and in Italian, which is very nice. So if you're Italian and you're curious um, about the food that they offer in Jollibee, you can actually just walk in and you can speak to them in Italiano. They would definitely accommodate you. Okay, so today, itatry naman natin yung iba na meron ako dito. First is the Yum Burger. So yung packaging niya, just pares lang sa Philippines. So yeah, very good. Pagbukas nyo, ganito rin siya kaliit. I was expecting na mas malaki. And I mean like European size burgers. Pero yun nga, ganito pa rin yung size niya parang sa Philippines. Pero okay lang. Yeah, when you open. Oh, tumikit. So yeah, so there. Oh, that's not good. Medyo naghihiwala yung bread. Hindi siya kasing firm na ini-expect ko. But let's try to... Let's try it. In all fairness, masarap siya. Masarap yung burger, tsaka yung, yung pinahid nilang parang spread. Same lang talaga siya sa Philippines. Although, Siguro medyo magko-comment ako dun sa type of bread na ginamit nila. So, makita natin dun sa bread, medyo naghihiwalay siya. So, hindi siya ganun ka-firm. Yeah, so feeling ko doon sa part na yan, pwede sila mag-improve sa, sa klase ng bread na ginagamit nila. Or sa pag, ewan ko, sa process ba yun ng paggawa or sa, sa manufacturer, sa supplier na binibilhan nila. The taste is very similar to what they have in the Philippines. Yum burger, check! Okay, next is Mamaya natin itong Jolly Spaghetti. Next natin yung Burger Steak. So, ito yung packaging pala nila. Hindi ko alam kung ganito din sa Philippines, pero ganito yung itsura sa dito. Pero ito yung parehas sa Philippines. So, ganyan siya. So, two-piece pala yung na-order ko and rice, of course. Sobrang sarap niya. Marami ka maaalala memories sa Philippines. Wow. Parang mas masarap pa nga siya sa Philippines sa naalala ko. Pero anyway, siguro parehas lang. Pero masarap siya. Masarap siya. Jollibee Burger Steak. Check. Okay. Okay, we move on to the last. So, ito yung last na meron ako. Jollibee Spaghetti. Before ko sumulan tong Jollibee Spaghetti, let me just say na Italy is a pasta country. Medyo inexpect na namin to dito na baka mag mag comment sila about the sweet spaghetti because of course what they have here is the yung Italian style spaghetti na iba yung hindi siya sweet. Pero as a Filipino, of course, ito yung una ko natikman na spaghetti sa buhay ko, sweet. So ito siya. Jolly spaghetti. So pakita natin na sobrang meaty pa rin niya. Cheesy. Although yung yung pasta niya is medyo ma, hindi ko maalala sa Philippines pero parang ganito nga rin yata siya. Sobrang nipis ng pasta. Sobrang nipis lang niya. Sobrang nipis lang niya kasi dito sa Italy kasi numero 5 yung normally ginag uh, number 5 na size yung ginaga normally ginagamit sa spaghetti. Ako ah nor normally numero 5 yung ginagamit ko. And yeah, let's try this. Sarap. Sarap. <laughs> okay, so ala ngayon pa lang sabihin ko na na Jolly Spaghetti is okay kasi sobrang sarap niya. So, yeah, ito yung tsura niya kapag nahalo na. So medyo, ewan ko, ewan ko sa camera, pero sa, sa personal kasi medyo hindi siya ganun ka, ka red. Pero sobrang sarap niya, sobrang achieved. Guys, bumisita kayo sa Milan. Itry nyo to. Okay, yun lang yung meron ako for today. So, I've tried the, the Yum Burger. Burger steak and the jolly spaghetti, and of course, just what I've told you, Italy is a pasta country. I'm not sure if the Italians 
will like this. But remember guys, yung Jollibee Italy, target market nila are Filipinos living in Italy. It is really not the Italians. Of course, maraming mga Italians na nagbabash dun sa so sweet pasta, bakit the sweet yung pasta natin, ganun ganon. But remember, wag tayong ma-offend kasi yun yung custom nila. So whatever things na sabihin ng mga Italians about our food, okay lang yun. We have our own opinion. Pero yung yung sa atin, as long as tayo, satisfied tayo sa ino-offer nila sa atin, then everything is good. Okay guys, so that ends up my food review for the Jollibee items here in Italy. I hope some of you can get to visit yung branch dito sa Italy. Once again, it is located at Piazza Dia 7. Ah, uh, Piazza Dia 7, Milano. Yeah, so kakain muna ako guys. Ubusin ko lang itong mga sinimulan ko and I'll be back for more updates. Stay tuned!